Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting application called Node-RED, the future of connected devices. So you may have guessed this is related to IoT applications, right? So we let's quickly see what we have in agenda and why Node-RED. So for our agenda, we are going to talk about what is Node-RED, Node-RED architecture. Then we will uh, double click and understand how to work with Node-RED that means creating flows and then we will understand Node-RED use cases finally we will end with the demo that's where we are going to install Node-RED application on a cloud VM all right so very quickly introduction to Node-RED Node-RED is a visual programming tool that allow users to easily create IoT application by connecting different devices and services together through a web-based interface. So as you can see, IoT is very involved thing, right? It's a, it's not purely a software. It's an, but the software is kind of like overlay uh, between various real, real world devices. So you have your smart TV, smart sensors, smart coffee machines, uh, thermostat, whatnot, right? All these are like a physical tool, and so. Do we have similar application on a factory floor or industry, right? So all these sensors, actuators are the things which are getting smart. And if you happen to develop an application along with communication between these things, you want a platform which serves, which can serve as like an application layer. So if you are new to your IoT, I highly uh, advise you or recommend you to go to uh, seen tech forum channel and play uh, watch the playlist called iot zero to hero that's where we talk about all kind of hardware protocol and application now we are summing it up together and trying to build something uh, on our own as a prototype and that's where node red comes into picture it was developed by ibm emerging technology but now it is donated to open source project called JS Foundation and maintained by that, Node-RED allow use you know, Node-RED uses a flow-based programming model where Node represent different functions and services that can be connected together to complete to create a complete application. And you will see when we actually go into demo and in subsequent videos when we create an application. So Node-RED architecture, Node-RED runs on top of Node.js and uses a lightweight web server to provide browser-based editor for creating editing flows. The runtime engine execute the flow and communicates with external devices and services. So that is the key. This is not like a software simulator, but it has a nice integration with real, uh, real world devices or in services. Nodes are building blocks of node red flow. So you want to create flows and you have nodes. So each node represent a specific function or services. Node can be grouped into categories such as input, output, functions, socials, making it easy to find right node for a right particular task. So nodes are building block for your flows and you can categorize your node into input, output related to services. Creating flows. To create a flow in Node-RED, users simply drag and drop nodes from palette onto the workspace and connect them together. As I mentioned, Node Road provide you the browser-based um, UI. And that's where once we have the UI available, you can create flows by simply dragging and dropping the nodes and connecting them. So it's pretty easy to start. Each node has its own setting and configuration option that can be accessed through a simple click in interface. So each node, node since it relates to a function or a service, it has its own parameter which you can easily tweak by simple click interface. Flow can be deployed and run locally on a device or remotely on a cloud platform. Node-RED app also support third-party integration with popular IoT platforms such as AWS IoT, Microsoft Azure IoT, IBM Watson IoT, also Things Network, and I'll show you some of the uh, advanced integration in subsequent videos. Node-RED use cases. As we talk about Node-RED, now you may already visualize some of the use case, but let's touch base on them again. Some of the use cases are home automation, industrial control system. 
It is particularly useful for prototyping and testing IoT solution due to its visual programming interface and rapid development capabilities. Some examples of Node-RED use case include building smart home network uh, that control light, temperature, security, uh, and then you have industrial equipments or factory floor where you want to make sure that you can monitor and control those devices. And, and imagination uh, is unlimited. Whatever you can imagine, things are getting smarted, uh, smart, so you can pretty much connect everything what you can imagine. Then let's go into demo. So we will restrict the demo uh, or scope of this video to install Node-RED on a cloud VM and in follow up videos we will create a nice dashboard and from there on we will start connecting our IoT on-prem devices. All right, so for this demo purposes, I have chose uh, Oracle VM. You can pretty much run it on-prem, uh, AWS, Oracle, Microsoft, wherever. It just need a Linux or Debian or Ubuntu system, right? So let's go to our VM. But before we do that, let's not forget and visit nodered.org. This is uh, the place where it's maintained. And I advise you or I recommend you to go and read some of the documentation, especially getting started and then some some of the cookbooks and developing flows. So these can give you a very nice uh, understanding into what is a flow, how to design the flow and all those things. So pretty interesting read. Spend some time on this. Now let's go to our demo. So here we are, this is our VM, and I'm going to show you what is the OS. Please give me one second here. Okay, so cat at C, OS iPhone release, or you can simply say, um, you name O, right? As you can see, sorry about that, the scroll. As you can see, this is our Oracle Linux server running 8.8. .8. So this is pretty close to Red Hat. All right, so let's understand what we are going to do, and then we will start start executing the command. As uh, usual, I have created a gist for you called Node Red install on a cloud VM, and here are the complete set of instructions. Let's review the instructions real quick. So the objective is to install Node Red, and for that we want to prepare our VM. So we will say sudo yum update and upgrade. Yes, yes to all. That means I want to make sure that my repos are updated and it has latest packages. From there on, I want to install npm. Npm is again a new gen package manager. So it has nothing to do with Node Red, but it is one of the package manager which is very trendy nowadays. And it has all the latest packages, which is very easy to manage using npm. So I'm going to install npm. On my machine, and from there I'm asking npm install go uh, node red right with some flags. So let's do that uh, to save some time. What I have done, I have already updated my packages because you know uh, sometimes it can take long time to update your complete repo. I have done that already. So let's straightly jump to and npm is also installed. So let's go and install node red real quick. All right, it is resolving all the dependencies and the packages. All right, and supported engine wanted. All right, uh, note. All right, so. It says updated packages. There may be some uh, thing going on with OCI, but let's not worry about that. These are just some warning. All right, let's go ahead and um, review our gist. So we have this thing installed. Also make sure that you have, if it is a Linux based VM, allow Node-RED port on VM firewall. Before we start our Node-RED, Node Red listen on TCP port 8080. That's a well known port. And uh, since we know what is the 
port number we are going to use what we have to do we have to make sure that that tcp port uh, traffic is accepted to the vm so we are going to modify the firewall rules using command firewall dot command and zone is by default public you can have it you can leave it but the idea is to add port 8080 with tcp and to make this persistent we are going to add the permanent flag if you are on debian, uh, debian based system you may have to do uh, ufw or uh, ip tables uh, depend on your soft uh, op operating system but this is good for rhel linux or centos all right so i have already um, applied this and then what you have to do you have to reload the firewall command it's you're not reloading the vm but you're reloading the firewall rules so that the newly added uh, rule is in place so we already have it uh, let's go ahead and start our noded services also uh, since these firewall rules are specific to that vm but if you are using a cloud vm you need to be mindful that security group concept comes into picture all right because you when you want to access your node uh, node red vm or node red application over internet and the vm is hosted on cloud you have to provide the ingress or incoming rule for security group and for that since this is oracle i already have created a list which says this is not a best practice but for now i have said that okay allow anyone or a incoming traffic from anywhere on tcp port 8080 allow this to my vcn All right so, um, this part again and from here you can see now if you do these things plus the vcn security your application server is available on your cloud vm ip address colon 8080 let's try that so what i'm going to do i'm going to do http colon 8080 and here you go welcome to node-red 3.0 so we have the node-red application available one more thing I would like to show you is so if you just start the node red and you happen to reboot your vm since we are we are we have not implemented service as a system d that means it will not uh, auto start when you reboot your vm or the next time when your vm is rebooting so you need to make sure that uh, you have mechanism in in place that can survive vm reboot and for that what we are going to do we are going to use a system d uh, implementation of node red and for that what you can do you can create a system d file by doing sudo nano etc system d node red dot services and what goes inside this file is this so you can simply copy and paste from unit to this and that will make it uh, survive a reboot, the VM reboot. Once you have the node red services file in place, what do you have to do? You have to do sudo systemctl enable node red service. And once you do that, it will create a sim link and that sim link uh, will be used every time your uh, VM is rebooted. It can use that sim link and start the services automatically. So make sure you implement this and today you may be wondering that why we are not doing it uh, uh, if in in a live demo be it's because to save some time and focus on the commands needed right but i can still show you the history um, what goes into installing this and pretty much everything you can see we have done update and upgrade and from there we have applied the firewall command then we installed npm package manager fetch the node red created the file and enable the services right let me show you if we are listening on um, port 1880 and that is netstat tnlp 326 327 actually right here you can see the application is listening on uh, uh, all the ip address colon 8080 and we have the vcn or security group rule is in place and that's where 
you can see my application is available point to note we are not dwelling into application yet we will do that in next video but point to note is as soon as you log in you can see you have you have not prompt for a ip address or a password right so so the username and a password that means the application is not secure so let's do, see what we can do to do the enable security or a login on top of the application what you can do is something like this now add a username and password for node login so what do you have to do you have to generate a, a hash let's do that node admin hash password something we can do live All right node admin command not found let me try to do sudo Okay, so this command is not found. We will see uh, from documentation, we'll see what is needed for Node Red. Okay, but so far, this is good. Application is available, and um, we will start using our application and create dashboard in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you.